Hi, I'm Robert from Mend My Computer, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating a few of the new and improved features of Microsoft Office Word 2010. Now, if we just open it up here, you'll see it loads a bit differently to the previous versions, and we've got this new line here that appears just above your main window which is called the ribbon just to identify the different sections more clearly you've also got the file button here they've tried to uh, conglomerate all of the information a bit better on all the different features I recently opened files here nice and neatly but if we start on a new image, the things that I'm going to show you first of all are firstly the improvements on WordArt. Now before in previous versions of Office, WordArt wasn't really all that good. You could do some things, but a lot of visual styles you'd need to use a third party program for like Photoshop. Now if I just pick one of these styles here and type a phrase just make this a little bit larger so you can see nice and clearly. Now everything now as they did in Office 2007 they try to do in real time so you can see the effects before you've actually selected something. We can now go back to the word art and you can add some new call effects such as shadows. You've got these ones here, very stylish. Again they're in real time. Uh, big improvements on the previous versions and probably one of the my most favourite ones on this newer version is this reflection effect where you can just get a partial reflection here now normally something like this you'd need to go into a third party application something like Adobe Photoshop to uh, achieve these results another feature I'm going to show you with this is Something that not everybody uses, but I use quite a lot for doing documentation and guides for people, is the screenshot feature. Now, normally in previous versions, in order to get a screenshot, what you'd normally do is go to your application that you want to take a screenshot of, hit your print screen button on the keyboard, then flick back over to Word, and then paste. and there you'd have your screenshot. Now what you can do in Word, they've improved this quite a lot, is on the insert tab here you've got the screenshot button. Now when you click this you can view available windows that are open. You can also choose screen clipping which will go to the most recent window and then will bring up this target icon so that you can highlight just the area that you want to take a screenshot of and then straight away it's there in your document you can then go to your picture tools, crop this, rotate it add some new effects, framing and things you can adjust the colour, do corrections if we go to corrections here you've got a preview of different brightness settings and everything else and again all of these get applied in real time so you can see just what effect that end result is going to give you. Again, colour, we can colour tone this. So it's nice and easy, they've made it very very easy to do all of these things and very easy for you to view the changes before you go and mess up the work that you're doing. Now to finish off, the other thing that I'm going to show you is again when you come to insert pictures into your work. Now I'm going to pick a picture here now this feature I'm going to show you, Remove Background, allows you to remove the background from your image so that you're just left with the particular part of the image that we're interested in. So here I'm only interested in getting the character here. So what we need to do is we can mark areas to keep here. You can see everything highlighted in purple is what it's removing. So we want to keep this, we want to keep this. Now, mark to remove, you can see it does go a little bit over the top, you have to just tinker around until you get to the right sort of thing that works for you. You can highlight whole areas, 
Now this is a feature that you need to play around with a bit until you get the results that you want, but normally, again, you'd need to use a third-party app to achieve these sorts of results, something like Photoshop, whereas you can stay in Word now and achieve all of these results just in one particular program. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it does allow you to do things and with a little bit of work, you can finally get the finished article like this that I've got here. Thanks for watching, and hopefully soon I'll upload another video showing off a few more features of Microsoft Office Word 2010.